Hi everyone, this is a training video brought to you by Corac Group. And in this video we'll demonstrate how to use the measure points functions within Trimble Access. So here we'll go through the four different measurement methods, rapid point, topo point, observe control point and calibration point. For other similar videos to this on Trimble Access, be sure to check out our YouTube channel there, Corac Training and Support and also feel free to browse our website at coreggroup.com. Okay, so I have a TSC7 controller here with a Trimble R12 receiver and I'm connected on the VRS network. So if I go into my main menu here in Trimble Access, I'm going to measure, measure points. Let's explore the different methods available. So let's start with a rapid point. This is typically the one most commonly used I suppose um, so your point name is usually just a numeric, numeric value if a number to indicate um, the unique point name um, code is um, is taken from the feature code library so say for example um, you want to find the spot level here your code can be searched by code or description you can see there you have two columns um, so maybe if I wasn't overly familiar with the abbreviations in the library I could search by description and type in spot and it's searching in the description field rather than a code or if I was familiar with the abbreviations I can just go straight in and type in the code SL and it'll pop up so with method we'll go with rapid point for the for the first one and um, I'm going to set my pole height here, my detail pole to 1.8 and that's always measured to bottom a quick release. Alright so measure a couple of points. Observation here. stored. So these are quick one second measurements with rapid point. Observation stored. Observation stored. Notice the, the point name incrementing as I as I take the points. Okay, so um, let's switch to maybe a topo point next. And um, we can just use spot level again, maybe. I take a couple of measurements using topo point. Observation stored. So topo point um, by default will take three measurements and average them out. So it's just that little bit more accurate. Um, you can change this if you go into options and you can change the occupation time here. You can see it's set to three seconds there, number of measurements three. And you can also check the box to auto store the point which will automatically store at once that time elapses. So that can be all changed in the options for each measurement method. Just measure one more point here on topo. Observation stored. Okay. So let's move on to observe control point next. Observe control point would be typically used for control points. Um, so we'll either clap in a bipod onto the detail pole and set in the receiver there for a you know a few minutes to, to get as many measurements and um, make it as accurate as possible I suppose um, so say for example our point name here is going to be S1 for station 1 and our code is going to be STN for station um, again I can go into options here and I can set the number of measurements by default it's usually 180 um, for this example maybe I'll just I'll just create um, 10 measurements so when you're happy enough you can measure you can see the time so far and the epochs remaining down the bottom right there so with some of the feature codes in our library we've attributes associated with them um, so you can you can pick you know your your station type whether it be a healthy nail or you can put in comments you can also take photos using the, the icon down the bottom of the screen here. Okay, 
quick pick shot. And that photo is linked then to the to the point here for the station. Store that. Observation stored. Okay, so you can notice the different methods of measuring points have different symbols associated with them. So you can see visually on the map screen what type of measurement was carried out. The last one there is a calibration point. So a calibration point will be used on a site that has local coordinates set up, for example, maybe like it a thousand to a thousand for your easting norting. Um, so with a GPS, GPS will only work in your grid coordinate system um, using your local grid coordinates. Um, so a site calibration would be carried out in order to to move your grid coordinates into a local coordinate system. So if you were doing that, your grid point name would actually be your local coordinate entered in here. It's usually attached as a CSV file. And then your GNSS point name is the actual measurement in your grid system of that point. And once you typically you'd measure maybe at least five control points here on a, a site calibration, um, and then it'll perform an adjustment and transformation and it'll create um, a local site coordinate system for that particular site.